Welcome to, This Bitch, with Sarah Weinshank and Kim Congdon. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of This Bitch Podcast. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Live at the Hive at the Comedy Store Studios. I'm Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinshank. Here we are. Another week, another dollar. Let's get this Monday. Let's fucking get it. Let's make this Monday our fucking bitch. Make the, yeah. Hey, Walk this Monday on a leash. <laughs> Not my problem, gotta say. <laughs> Not my problem, gotta say. Um, What's new? What's new? Well, Shit. we've been talking about Lindsay. We have been talking about Lindsay's big comeback. Lindsay Lohan's doing a big comeback. She's doing um, Freaky Friday again, right? Yep. Which is one of my favorite movies. I love that one with her and Jamie Lee Curtis. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's a good one. It is a good one. Um, and she's back again. And you know what I have to say about Lindsay Lohan? She I'm never proud goes away. She never goes away. She's like a cockroach. She comes back <laughs> twice as strong. Not even a nuclear bomb could kill this girl. No. And and I like her because she's a child actor. She obviously went through some shit. She went through a little bit of a drug addiction and all that stuff. And She had her ankle monitor br- years. She had her ankle monitor years. She had her spray tan years. She had her spray tan years. She had her trying to climb in the car with Paris Hilton years. She had her Dubai years. <laughs> she had her trying to kidnap a child from Dubai years. She had her reality show in the water in the Morocco years. Oh, yeah. She really kept trying to come back. She, she's persistent. And that's what I like about Miss And she Lohan. doesn't get embarrassed. Oh, no. She does not get embarrassed. One thing about Lindsay, she's going to bounce back. I saw this, and this was this actually it was true, is during this movie, all, a lot of girls talk about how the girl that threw the backpack was their by awakening. Oh, I saw that, too. What? Do you remember her? Like, and, it was, yeah. and I did have a slight crush on that girl. Wait, I want to see... That's like this when, girl. Whoa. That's like when Kim and I traveled together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. That's literally Kim. That's Kim with a drill right <laughs> I had a crush on this girl. You did? Yeah. That's so funny. I don't even yeah. remember her. Did you, McKenna? I did too. And then what? I always wanted blue nail polish when they Me saw them too. Poker. I wanted blue nail polish too after this I movie. I wanted Oreos and peanut butter after <laughs> I saw this movie more than yeah. anything. I could actually use an Oreo and peanut butter now, to be honest. I could always use an Oreo and peanut butter. Do you know that show Californication? Yes. Yeah. I used yeah. to be obsessed with David Duchovny and that show. <laughs> I can like I went so hard in it. When he writes the love letter to Karen, it could bring a tear to my eye. The, I love their relationship. I'm obs- That is one of my favorite shows. Well, you I know was in it randomly. Jade Catapretta. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. I I saw that. Oh, I was watching it last night. And in the first few episodes, he fucks this girl named Mia. Oh, yeah. And she Mia's- turns out to be 16. And the whole storyline is this 16 year old just wants to fuck him really bad for like six episodes. I know. Mia. And I'm like, this is kind of weird. Yeah. It's a good show, though. It is a good show. Did you let, did you get into it? Yeah, I could use less hot tits while I'm watching it with my boyfriend. <laughs> Every scene, it's just a girl rubbing her tits in in his face. Is there something about like also his relationship with Karen that is just? I it's a really sweet relationship. I know, and you just want them to be together so badly. Just, he's such, such an asshole, and he's, he's such, such an, an asshole. asshole, and she's so great and beautiful, and you're like, and you he, idiot. But he's also so hot to me. Yeah, but he's such a dick. He is a dick. That's why everybody likes him, and that's why. He's that character. That's what women want. Women love assholes. Why? I don't I'm know. glad I'm out of that phase. Me too. That's a that's that's a game for a, a, a young twenties. You're like, ah, he loves me. He just doesn't know yet. Yeah, like, you think he's <laughs> trying to figure it out? I'm like, he's figured it out. He don't he, want your he, ass. He don't want you. He don't want. He me. don't want me. <laughs> me and Sarah used to say that when we were single all the time. That's probably towards uh, the end of getting sick of it. We started just going, yeah, he don't want me. Uh, he don't want me either. He don't want me either. <laughs> we sometimes, have- sometimes, ladies, you have to just admit that he don't want you. And it's freeing. Or and maybe freeing. she don't want you. Maybe or there's she, a man out there that needs to hear that. She don't want you. And guess what? If she did, you'd know. You would know. It would be no secret. She don't and want you. And vice versa. Have some self-respect. I know someone out there needs to hear that, especially today. Someone, someone probably has a little red eyes from crying. 
Wipe the mascara off wipe, your face, wipe queen. Wipe the mascara or the non-mascara <laughs> like <me>. king. <laughs> it's McKenna. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> it's so funny. Get, get a Kleenex. <laughs> yeah, get a Kleenex, bitch, and stand up. Stand up for yourself. Oh, I now I, I feel like, like I am up. talking directly I, to McKenna. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, stand up. Stretch. Walk Stretch. outside. Go for a beach drive. Go for a walk. Not as being so inspiring to, to the heartbroken right now. Sometimes they need that. And you know what? You know who Get else needs it? Get off the couch. The lonely. Oh. Not just the heartbroken. This goes out to the lonely. This goes out to... The- <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an R and B song is about to start. <laughs> this goes out to the lonely. Can we get some music? Some R and B music. Let's let's put something out to the lonely. Maybe a country. I'll write a quick country song for the to, lonely. For the lonely. Yeah, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> All right, give me three words, Sarah, that have to do with lonely. That I'll throw in there. Okay. Alone. Alone. That's a great one. <laughs> That's a, the creativity is blasting in this room. <laughs> Solitude. Solitude. Despair. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Cha. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I need a different one. I need a different Wait, one. Really? I need a different one. Yeah, that one was. Want me to do that one? Did you, you have one? Maybe. Okay, hit that one for Shank. Sorry, but, but should I do those words? Yeah. Okay. Alone, I, solitude, and I need to see them in front of my face. And despair. It makes me feel safe. Okay, hold on. I gotta write despair. Hit it. This is for anybody that's ever felt alone, lonely, who's just lost someone or never found them in the first place. Here we go now. I got in my truck alone again. Just me and the open road. Open road. (laughs) Heading somewhere I don't know. I don't know. And I smoke a marble red. Oh. And I drink some beer to my head. And I enjoy the solitude, but I'm just full of despair. Did you even care? the way your blonde hair flowed I'm missing you every day <laughs> every it, day it's harder and harder to do it alone all alone please let me reclaim my throne I want my throne back despair did you even care did I want to touch that care? golden hair golden hair I miss your soft skin again I'm waking up alone again wow <laughs> that was despair by sarah weinshank that's for all the lonely now no this is for the heartbroken i need three words shattered shattered mm-hmm. i wrote sharded by accident shattered okay <laughs> she wrote sharded instead of shattered <laughs> yeah. um okay De- devastated devastated i need an old country Stated and pain, pain. All right, here we go. Free country and instrumental. Wait, okay. So this is um, Kim Kong. This is from Kim. Wait, Kong wait till thing. the music starts. Oh, wait, go. This is for Kim Kong. This is a start song. it over. Start okay. it over. Start it over. <laughs> Sorry, I shit the bed there. Okay, ready. <clears throat> this is a song to all the heartbroken by Kim Kongden. Well, I was shattered when you left. And my heart knew pain I can't forget. You went on out there to find the world. But what were you looking for? Cause I was your girl. I'm devastated. Can't count the crimes I've done in my head. I'm doing time. Fight for your love now. I will do it. My heart shattered. My heart shattered. I'm doing time up in my head. Yes, I am. I hit that bitch that's in your bed. I'm doing time up in my head. 
What that bitch is All in your bed All in your bed The pain hurts now But I'll be okay Cause I'm a hot bitch With fat tits (laughs) And a pussy And that's fucking all you need (laughs) (laughs) Wow Wow. That was a hit I I call that fat uh, fat tits with pussy (laughs) My country hit Fat tits with pussy FTP. <laughs> FTP. FTWP. FTWP. Fat tits with, with pussy. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you that's all you need. I like a country song and the theme is she's doing crimes to the new girl in her head. Yeah, but she's like just that. trying to live her life. Now here I go. I slit your throat. <laughs> it's all the horrible <laughs> thing she does to his new girl. <laughs> But then I will oh, look up. Oh, I'm on a boat. <laughs> she's having <laughs> visions of killing the new girl. Okay. But she's trying to move on. I like it. I'm on a boat. So funny. I a called sl- your father. Told him you were a slut. Oh, never mind. I just am at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a breakup hits different. I called your father. Told him you were a slut. That you were doing smut. Dude, there is this girl. She should be happy that I am in a committed relationship because I was holding on to the idea of doing this for. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> You were allegedly holding on to the idea. No, I was <laughs> no legitimately holding on to the idea. There was a girl that fucked my boyfriend six years ago behind my back. And I have been six waiting. Six years ago. I have been waiting six for. Six year, the six year One, I, tried, I legitimately tried to find her father. Wow. Oh my God. What, what was the plan there? I was going to fuck him. I was going to fuck him and date him and show up to dinner. Oh I was going to fuck him and date him and show up to dinner Look for at, the, real. You, the baby has pain in his the eyes. Baby. <laughs> when <laughs> you <laughs> said that, he looked... I was like, never piss Kim off. I'm like, <laughs> I was going to find her husband and fuck him. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. I was. Her, yeah. da- her father? Her father. Her was father. He and I was, gonna, I was hoping that he was still with her mother because I was going to find a way to fuck him. <laughs> I was going to find a f- way to fuck him. You wanted I went to ruin, hurt this girl so bad that, that I would you ruin her parents' her marriage. Daddy. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck your daddy. And then it's I so always, like, every few years, I would so check her. Um, yeah, but every few years, I would check her social media. Yeah. And just to see if she had a serious boyfriend yet, because I was gonna fuck him too after I fucked her dad. I was gonna fuck <laughs> you her just dad. You made me so nervous. I literally got goosebumps. <laughs> I was gonna fuck the her dad. The hair on my arm started standing up. Then I was gonna fuck her man <laughs> for revenge. And I used to check like every three years. I'd see, did she post a man yet? Because I was gonna find his ass. Fuck him well, back. I don't think she's found a man since. Well, no, she hasn't. I've been checking. She's <laughs> oh. Friend's dad payback porn. Oh, that's that's a category on porn. Oh, notes. it is. It's very popular. Wait, see Reddit. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. Am I the asshole for revenge <laughs> cheating on my ex with his dad? Or was oh, I groomed? deleted? The post was deleted. You know that was real. They said regret. Send nudes to cheating husband's dad as revenge. Okay, for starters, I, I want to say I am embarrassed and not proud. Four years ago, my husband cheated on me with his ex. We ended up going to couples therapy and working it out. Not them working it out. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Anyways, his family loved me, and when I told his family he cheated on me, they were absolutely pissed. My father-in-law started telling me how I deserve better and how pretty a girl like me shouldn't be cheated on. He just started saying things to me that were kind of flirtatious. Every now and then, I would do my makeup. He would tell me I look pretty, but I didn't really progress beyond words. No, no, oh, no. no. Okay, <laughs> fast forward to January of this year. I found out that my husband was talking to his ex again. Oh, hell no. He said that I'm they, getting mad. they were just talking. They haven't slept together since the last time four years ago, but it still felt like lie and betrayal. I made the impulsive decision to start texting his dad. We were just kind of talking, nothing weird. Then I asked him what his opinion on my outfit was, so I sent him a picture of me in a bikini. He didn't respond. Oh, that that's, that's really embarrassing. Send a bikini pic to your husband's dad and he doesn't respond? <laughs> Okay, keep going. But my husband sure got a call from his mom freaking out. I wasn't there when he got the call, so I don't know exactly what was said. But as soon as my husband got home, I got ripped into. I started crying and told him it wasn't that serious. It wasn't that serious? (laughs) I like this girl. I would do this. Back in February, when the anger died down, he told me he wanted a divorce. Oh, now he doesn't like when people are messing around on him. See, this is my kind of revenge. You don't like it? You don't like people being disloyal to you? Anyways, he told me that if we... 
tried to work You're out our marriage. His me. family is absolutely disgusted by me, and they all removed me off social media, including her sister, who I had a great relationship with. Yeah, this is over, girl. His mother is now <laughs> trying to say that my intention on the photos were ruining her marriage. I tried to text her and let her know that my goal wasn't to ruin her marriage. I honestly didn't think the pictures were that bad. I mean, come on, your girl. Come on, girl. Your husband calls me cute all the time, and she never says anything about it. It was always innocent, but apparently the bikini pics are f- too far, even though we go on vacation with them, and he's seen me in a bikini before. I feel like I screwed up because the past week I've been trying to be affectionate with my husband and he wants nothing to do with me. Yeah, because you're sending bikini pics to his father. (laughs) Yeah. You can't, if you're going to send the bikini pic to your father-in-law, you have to know the marriage is done. You have to be for sure done. You can't can't. then get back together. No, that's a, that's a, that's for, that's a closeout. That's a, that's a closer. Yeah. It's like spitting in someone's face and then getting mad that they don't want to talk to you. Yeah. It's really crazy, but I really like that she did it. (laughs) I like this person. To be honest, it's kind of sad they're divorcing. Those two cunts belong together. <laughs> it's true. They're both just cheating on it. They both seem like bad people, and they should just maybe stay together. It's pretty nice. They found someone just like them. I fucked my ex-boyfriend's dad. About a month ago, I, 24 female, found out that my boyfriend, 25 male, had been sharing my nudes with his dad. We were together for about three no. years, and I thought I would marry this guy. I trusted him by sending him nudes. I had never sent anyone nudes before in my life. Well, about a month ago, I found out through his text messages that he had been sharing my nudes with his father. His dad was replying to them like, that shit was shit like, that's my boy, and damn, she looks hu- she looks hot and wet. Oh. And God, she is so sexy. Wait, why is the dad saying that to his son? Because he's a horny, gross yeah, guy. Yeah, son, she looks hot and wet. Why are you saying that to your baby yeah. boy? Well, when I found out that my boyfriend completely destroyed my trust. Wait, when I found that out, my boyfriend completely destroyed my trust. I broke up with him. I told him what I had found out. And for the most part, he ghosted And for the most part, ghosted him. He tried to profusely apologize and begged for forgiveness. He was crying on his knees, begging for me to forgive him. He said shit like his dad always put pressure on him to be a real man. And by being a real man, he has to have a a hot girlfriend and have lots of sex. All of his apologizing and begging for my forgiveness did not faze me one bit. I was already broken and there was nothing he could do to fix it. Apparently, he sank into a deep depression, stopped going to work, stopped eating and ended up in, hospitalized for suicidal ideation his father came over to my house a few times no trying to reason with me but i refused to talk to him he came over again a couple of days ago and something inside of me had snapped i invited him in and he <gasps> sat there for about 10 minutes trying to get me to forgive and talk to his son i do not know what came over me but i said something in the lineup no. show me how hot and sexy you think i am no. one thing led to another no. and i ended up having sex with him i don't know if he was going to tell my ex-boyfriend or what i don't know if he's going to tell my ex or what's going to happen for from here on but i don't care one way or another i do not feel bad as a matter of fact i feel pretty vindicated i hope my ex-boyfriend finds out and scarred deeply for the rest of his fucking life <laughs> that last line <laughs> dog listen this episode is sponsored by better help if you're like me, you're a head case. You're very anxious and you're constantly worrying about things that may or may not happen, probably from your childhood trauma. Are you all in your head? Dizzy with worry, fear of tomorrow, wondering where it all goes, why it all started, how it all ends? Well, when it comes time to dealing with the big stuff like your childhood trauma or just surviving day-to-day life, there's only one company I trust and that's BetterHelp. Maybe you're done trauma dumping on your friends and you want to give it to a professional who will take it and gets paid for it so you don't feel guilty. If you're like me, you've benefited from therapy. Um, I can't tell you how much better everything feels just by going and talking to somebody and carving out that time with a professional. I personally have benefited from better help. My life used to look like this. Now it's starting to look a little like this. There's still a little there, but it's a lot better. <laughs> so for me, therapy has totally changed my life. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. Seriously though, my therapist 
Paul is incredible and I found him on BetterHelp and I really like it. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You can just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Never skip therapy day with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash takeover today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash takeover make sure you tell them i sent you and go from this to this still something but a lot better <laughs> all right let's get back into the episode i wonder if the dad was hot because if it was like those two remember the the father son that was was at the front row of our show in austin you know what i'm talking about yeah Wait, what? Oh. You know what I'm talking Dude, about. Dude, me and Sarah, I mean, they're probably listening. They're fans of the show. These okay. two, this dad-son combo came to our live show in Austin. Were you there, Zaves? No, but I've seen the episode. Oh, Crickets God. And Crickets and more. Wait. <laughs> the episode yes, wasn't yes, great. for the Patreon, guys. You guys know how hot these guys are. Dude, these, this dad-son combo was something out of a porno. It was like we're like we they still were we talk them. about it like it's an old lore. <laughs> yeah, the father son, the father Vulcan son, front row, <laughs> the crickets and more father and son. Oh my god, they were so hot. They were like one was hotter than the other. Yeah, I could see if it was that situation. That's a different type of situation. Imagine being twenty four and being like, "So show me how hot and sexy you." Think I love I, that we're at confidence. an age where we could fuck fuck the father or the son. It would make more sense to fuck the father at this point. Yeah, no. than the son. It gets creepy almost to fuck the son at this point. Yeah, the son just looked like a, a like he was going to be the father soon. They were both oh, so they hot. They were both so hot. So yeah, that situation. But I, dude, I love that she fucked his dad. Fuck him for sending the nudes. What a creep. Fucking someone's dad doesn't sound fun. It depends on the dad, I think. It does depend on the dad. You've never fucked someone's dad. You're currently fucking. I'm someone's fucking dad. someone's dad. That's no, true. You're doing it right now. <gasps> that's crazy. Not right the second, but <laughs> that's how old. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I am fucking someone's dad. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, she's fucking someone's old dad. <laughs> you go by the wine shank house, this is all you hear. Your little pussy belongs to me. <laughs> that's me. Noise! That's me outside the window. The old dad that's younger than me. I'm fucking this, this old dad. Shanks, you're fucking an old dad? What if he dies before you? Not my problem, gotta say. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. What's the oldest you would date? Um, if you were single. If I was single, maybe 50s would probably be my same cut off. I dated, when I first moved to LA, I went on a few dates with a guy that was 52, and I was 22. Really? Yeah. Was that weird? No, he was really cool, and we got along fine, but then... I, I got like I worked at uh, a production company and we were at lunch together on the beach and this lady from HR ran into no. us and I was like eating with this like older dude and it was obviously like me on a date with this way older dude and it was very awkward. She was like, hi, and I look like a sugar baby. And I was <laughs> like, he hasn't paid me for sex yet. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, so. 50s is as old as I'll do. I'm good besides that, unless he's going to croak. No, like an Anna I could Nicole. Do, I could do an Anna Nicole. I could. I seriously could. <laughs> I could just fuck an old Would dude you have for to 30 blow seconds. Him? Probably not. You could probably literally give him a hand job and pretend it's your mouth. Oh and my god, you could do that? I could give him a hand job, yeah. You couldn't give him a hand job. I mean, for how much? For to be set for life after he dies. Oh, there's something. He looks like a Halloween mask. Yeah, that's why you pretend He's there's like a, a hot guy like underneath. Him. He probably is like fun. Yeah, you probably so. He's fun. probably fun. Yeah. You think? What's his name? J. Howard Marshall is a is good time. Is that his name? Yeah. How Jay, do you know that? Because it says it right there. Oh. J. Howard Marshall. What, what did he do? He was kind of hot when he was younger. Yeah, dude. Jay, look at him. Click on that top one in the black and white. Oh, dude, time is cruel. That one, yeah. Time dude, is cruel. He was hot. Everybody. He was hot. I'd be with him. I'm looking for my own Jay Howard. Oh, he looks like a real good time there. Maybe my boyfriend will let us have one. <laughs> a Jay like Howard a dog. Marshall. Oh my God. Honey, please. I could adopt one that's dying and needs a home. Let's just get a Jay Howard Marshall. You say for like the next it's a year. dog you're fostering, but he's old and he needs a home before he dies. He needs a warm place to die. Oh, that's 
that's a costume, Halloween costume. That's, that's a great Halloween costume. That's a great Halloween that costume. That is. What are we going to be for Halloween? That. No. <laughs> Who's J. Howard Marshall? I'll be J. Howard. <laughs> I want to sit all night. <laughs> <laughs> that's not fair. I got to wear heels with big I fat tits. I want to sit all night. I want to sit all night. That is a funny costume, dude. But yeah, I don't know. It's a lot to be a sugar baby, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a lot of work. I joined a sugar baby website mm -hmm. when I was like younger, when I was in my 20s, and I just couldn't. Yeah. I messaged a couple of them being thinking they were just going to give me money to hang out and they're just so horny and old. You're I'm like you got to you got to have um a strong stomach to be a sugar baby. And well, I don't what like What were they requesting? Well, there was just different ones, and it's just, like, it really is, like, um, it's better in your head. Then yeah. you see these guys. A lot of even things if are you talk, better in your head. You know, you talk to one of them on the phone, and they're like, hello, sweetheart, and you're immediately like, I can't do this. <laughs> like, that's how I was. I was like, I can't. I tried. How's it going, sunshine? Yeah, and then I remember seeing this old billionaire because I changed the website from millionaire to billionaire, and I paid extra to find billionaires, and there was this old billionaire who looked like this dude, and his profile was so long, and it was so mean, and it was like, I want girls to be this tall, this limb. It was like, you need to be be, you need to have couth. You need to not embarrass me when we're out together at events. And honey, if you feel like you're a little bit overweight, then maybe you shouldn't eat so much, my dear. No. That was in his profile. And I said, I don't want this one. This no. one sounds mean. The billionaires are mean, dude. The billionaires are mean. You maybe gotta be you a loyal hot eat slut. so much. Yeah, I said, I gotta skip that one. We ain't never eaten with him. Yeah, part of this is that you feed me. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm doing I'm it. I'm actually here for the food. <laughs> yeah. So. It's this or ramen, <laughs> motherfucker. So. Yeah. So. Have you ever had a sugar daddy? No. I had that one guy that I dated that would give me money. Yeah. Remember? No. Yeah. He got the hotel for us in Laguna. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice. That was but nice. everything comes at a price. Every, yeah, he was honking my titties. He was the titty honker. He was the titty honker. Ain't nothing free, ladies. Ain't nothing free. Dude, That's a sure, we saw Elon Musk at the hotel yeah. we stayed at, but he was honking my titties <laughs> the whole time. Honk, honk. Ugh. Yeah. It's kind of hard to look back at someone you fucked before. Well, sometimes because it's also like... Some you, people is fine. But sometimes it's like... It's like you're not proud of the decision. Yeah, do you remember that song? And you're just lonely. Oh, what's that song? You make a bitch wanna snatch the cat back. Snatch the cat back? It's all back. about wishing you could take your pussy back from someone. Oh, yeah. You and know who I wish I could take it from? What, who do you want to snatch your the cat back from? The one whose photo you sent me today. Oh, the beggar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the beggar. beggar. Like he begged you for something today, Shane? No, no, he... no. She dated a guy that would beg online for money, and he did it again today. He's always asking for money. Like, like he thinks he's a hot chick. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's so good. I've we. I think every girl has felt this with a guy wanting to snatch the cat back. Do you think that guys want to snatch the dong back? Snatch the dick back. The dog back. <laughs> you make a. Back. You make a dude want to snatch, snatch the, the dog dick. back. Snatch the yeah. <laughs> the snatch dog. Snatch the dog back. <laughs> you make me want to heal the dog. <laughs> heal, heal the dog. <laughs> I know. I don't think guys care. I think they're just excited. They've been in as many. Do you think as that once? Want. A guy gets into, like, fucks you. He always thinks about the fact, oh, yeah, I got to fuck her. Is that Xavier? will ask Xavier. If you okay. fucked a girl, okay. is it always slightly in the back of your mind when you see her that you fucked her? I think it is because yeah. it is for me. Yeah. Yeah. I me too. So. Like, or, or, like, it could be, like, anything. It could be, like, oh, I've seen you naked. I've done yes. That, and that's what I think they think, too. When you go by, they're like, I know what her nipples look like. Oh, I don't like that. I there's think... there's ones that, um, yeah, I want to snatch the cat back from. I actually have a list. Matter of fact, I pull out a, a binder. A snatch the cat well, back list. The first one was in 2005. Oh, I'd like to snatch that kitty back. <laughs> oh, I'd like to take that kitty back. I'd like to snatch the areolas back. Yes. Yeah. You make a bitch want to take a nipple memory back. <laughs> take the memory of my pussy back. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few. I've had a few drunken nights. I had one drunken night in Austin, you know, about that I wish I could take back. 
Oh. <laughs> we can't even talk about it. Yeah, no, we can't. But okay. it's so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. I want to snatch my back, cat dude. back twice, if you know what I mean. I wish I could. <laughs> dude, I... Oh. <laughs> ah! We hit the noise. I also have... I'd like to snatch my noise. cat back from someone in Austin, too. Yeah? A few people, actually. Who? Oh, the one that got you addicted to the vape. <laughs> <laughs> you know who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get addicted to a vape from Dick, that's not good. That's, that's not, not good. good. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. Yeah, I want to snatch the cat back from a, a guy I dated, an ex around here, that got weird after we dated. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I also, <laughs> not Xavier <laughs> knowing the tea. Xavier knows the tea. I, 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 there's that's, an ex I'd like to snatch the cat back who brought me on stage recently. Yes, yes. That's but, like the gods were laughing at me yeah. that day. <laughs> I was like, I never want to see this person again. Now they're bringing me up. Yeah, yeah, dude. When someone turns on you after you fuck them, that's weird. The ultimate oh. betrayal. Listen, I want to snatch the cat back from you. If I don't, if you don't mind, could I snatch the cat back? You, when you fuck a girl, there should be a part of your brain that you could take out. And then when you break up, she could take it back. So it's like you never did it. <laughs> I wish some guys <laughs> like eternal spotlight. Uh, yeah, of the dickless mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish that, that I could take away the memory of my pussy. Because I'm also like for, mo like for most guys that I fucked and I didn't fuck anymore. I'm like, you didn't deserve it. I would no. say most guys I've fucked did not deserve it. Yeah, but but you know what happens? The thing that's crazy is when they don't deserve it, but then, like, the the oxytocin's coming in, so you're like, I think they did deserve it. You're, like, making them breakfast, and oh, you yeah. shouldn't be, and you're oh, like... Yeah. No, what you're trying to... The worst part is when you're trying to convince yourself. You ever been with a guy, and you're trying the whole time, oh, yeah, today was a good day. I didn't want to leave the entire time today. Yeah. And you start doing things he like hit me. Yeah, at least he doesn't hit me. I'm just sort of unhappy. Some girls get hit. Yeah, when you start rationalizing <laughs> yes. the relationship. Yes, that's, that's when so you know bad. it's bad. That's when you know it's bad. I had a moment when I was with my boyfriend on the couch the other day and we were watching TV and I snapped and I looked and I was like, "It's so nice that I like you so much. I barely know you're here." <laughs> and he was like, "What?" <laughs> but it's true. It's I like I can mean. like he's just kind of existing next to me. Yeah, that is nice. And not annoying. But yeah, sometimes you want to snatch the cat back. You make a bitch want to snatch the cat back. But if the sex is really good, do you still want to snatch no, the cat back? No, anyone I've had great sex with can keep can keep that memory. We can keep that memory between us. I, yeah. I do yeah, feel like yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, I do feel like You that. deserve the pussy. You worked for it. <laughs> if we had bad you sex and you it. know who you are, I want my cat back. <laughs> I want it back. I wanted it back yesterday. I actually. want my cat back and I want it back. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> right, meow. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's weird seeing someone you hooked up with that you don't talk to anymore. Yeah, for sure. That's dark. One time I hooked up with this guy in college and I don't think he had a belly button. What? Kyle likes why? What? Kyle XY show. didn't have a belly button. He was so hot, too. I had a crush on Kyle XY. <laughs> yeah, he was like a Kyle XY. Oh, my God. He was a twin, and he didn't have a belly button. And he was, His twin absorbed his belly button in know. the womb? I don't know. And it was, like, weird, because, like, imagine, like, you're hooking up with someone. They're so hot. He takes off his shirt, and there's no belly button. No. And it's like, you're looking for it. You're like, any <laughs> sign of a belly button would be nice. It's right like a slip now. and slide on his chest. Yeah, I'm like. Flat ground. It's weird. It's like looking at Did his you face ask? without a nose. No, I didn't. I just. What? I just thought about it every day and told everyone that he didn't have a belly button. Can, I, can you Google, can a human not have a belly button? I don't know if you were d d fucking a human. I'm telling you, there was no belly button. I'm curious about the umbilical cord. Like, with Surgical remove birth defect. Ugh. Probably because he was a twin. Ew. Ew. Uh, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was no sign of Look, it. Look, that woman doesn't have one, the third picture. Ah. Ah, it's weird, right? That Why ain't right. so weird? She should get something tattooed there. <laughs> that ain't right. She should get a tattooed there. A belly button tattoo? Yeah, I'm currently trying Imagine, to lose. What? I'm currently trying to lose enough weight that the shape of my belly button changes. <laughs> From horizontal to vertical, that's when you know you're skinny. 
from horizontal to vertical vertical i don't know if you have a horizontal belly and it's not vertical i think that it it hits a point of skinny where the skin starts pulling up and it starts going like looking like more like this than like this look up skinny versus fat belly buttons (laughs) (laughs) i'm scared I'll tell you, mine mine looks like a sun horizon. A person who's overweight could have a very small. See, bar. see the difference in belly buttons, vertical, yeah. horizontal. One goes sideways, one goes up. I think mine has always just gone up. No, mine don't. That's for sure. See, see. Whoa. Well, who knows what the fuck else Kim Kardashian has done to herself? Yeah, she probably yeah. has had that belly button removed, put back. Look at that. Out. That's yeah, my that's dream. Right <laughs> that is my dream. My dream. Is, yeah, you want your belly button to look like a little pussy. pussy a tiny pussy. <laughs> you want your belly button to look like a tiny your little pussy. Your pussy belongs to me. That's what I want to say when I look at my stomach. Your little pussy belongs to me. Oh, I that's don't like my it. Goal. I don't like it. You don't like that? I mean,. That looks great. I just feel like your belly button's your belly button, right? No, it can change. Well, I didn't realize that. (laughs) It can change. Weight loss belly button. Click that tab on the left. (laughs) Yep, look at the difference in belly buttons. Look, horizontal, vertical. The fit girl's belly. Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Even it looks Kim like Car- she has two different belly buttons. I actually, you the know, same photo shoot. You know where I actually, this is probably not healthy to do for women. We should stop. We should. But this is, but the, where I picked this up was actually from the Kardashians when she, when Chloe came out and she was like, oh my God, you've lost the weight. Look, even your belly button's a different shape. And I was like, what? And then I Googled it and I said, oh, hell nah. And then I looked at my <laughs> belly button that looks like a fucking a neutral smile. <laughs> A neutral smile. This is my, this is a, can you get close on me? This is a shape of my belly. (laughs) This is what I'm trying to have. And this is what I have. And this is what I want. (laughs) This is mental illness. (laughs) I need to see a doctor. And this is what I have. And this is what I want. Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know, dude. I just feel like your belly button is your belly button. Some people have really intense Audis. I feel like it's not. I feel like you could change your belly button. Is that true? Yes. I don't want to believe I can change my belly button because that seems like too much work. There's another thing added onto the list, sweetie. I just put it on my list. (laughs) Oh, I've been obsessed with this thing. What? I'm Okay, I'm obsessing over this calendar I really want. A digital calendar. Please just buy it. How much it's is it? It's three hundred and fifty dollars. What? Why do you want that? I don't know. Well, it's will you called know the skylight frame. Will you know where you're gonna be? Yeah, the skylight frame right you there. You need the skylight frame more than anyone I know. You Can should we- reach out to them. I did reach out to them. I said I have ADHD, and I talk about it on my podcast. Will you please buy send me one? They haven't written back, and I want them to. Who look at it? Who told you about this? This is the skylight frame. It's a frame, and it's and it has everyone's schedule and your chores and your things to do and the dinners you're gonna do. And it's in a frame in your kitchen. And every morning you can go check off what you need. Okay, but it's so expensive. And then it's three hundred dollars, and you have to buy a plan for it to do other cool shit. So then you feel left out if you don't buy a plan for like forty dollars. Can't you just get an iPad and get a calendar app? It's not the same. <laughs> Read the reviews. The reviews are incredible. Hit the Ooh, how'd you find out about this? On Bonter- Amazon, on TikTok. I saw it on TikTok. Everything she sees, it's on TikTok. Yeah, it's true. Let's see what the reviews say. I really want it so bad. Not my girl financing a calendar. <laughs> Not me clarning. Not me making payments on a calendar. I even looked at that and I was like, I'm not paying $60 a month for a calendar. That's crazy. When you break it down like that, it's almost worse. Yeah, it's better just buy it. Uh, here, there's a reviews tab at the top. Oh, dude, yeah. this is how I know we're old. We're looking at the reviews of a digital ca- uh, calendar right <laughs> Everyone now. Everyone is so asking fun. about it. Look at the top review. Let Everyone's asking. It sounds like a party I'm not invited to. Look, wish I had this 10 years ago. Simple and clear. Keep going down. We'll read the titles. Great addition. Keep going. Great for home organization. The best. <laughs> Excellent for large families. Great organize. Fantastic. Good. Very good. Excellent I mean, and easy to use. Way better than Amazon. Okay. See? 
Okay. So, I, I, I mean, I'm sold. But should I spend $350 on it? It's kind of a lot of money. It's a lot of money for a calendar, if you ask me. But uh, if it helps you get on task. But then I also want the aura ring, which is also another $300 and $400. It's this ring that tracks your entire health. $500. The aura ring, it tracks your, you your heart that. health, the steps you take. Well, it gives you goals Just get a to Fitbit. Do. It's different. It's more concise the because it's on your ring. The aura ring looks like something like a man who just got engaged would wear. That's actually true. I like the calendar more for you. Have you guys heard of these? They're the, the, the alarm clocks that wake you up with light. I actually, yes. And you know what? These are a scam. They're what? 170. Those are a scam? Yeah, but I've had these since college. I used to sell them for like 40 bucks. And what? now that they're just hype on the internet, they're like 170. The hatch light. And that shit don't even, it does wake you up. It's true. But it's like whatever. I dated someone from Portland who was depressed all the time because the sun never came out and he had to sit in front of a sunlight lamp. That's so sad. Just leave Portland. Yeah, that's literally what I just say. leave. Just leave. This is what I want: the Aura Ring Gen Three Horizon Silver Smart Ring First Aura Sizing Kit Sleep know. Tracking Wearable Heart Rate Fitness Tracker. Which color? you want to hear what it does? I mean, you just said it's a fitness tracker. <laughs> it tracks, tracks your sleep. sleep. It tracks your sleep. It tracks your REM. It tracks your heart rate. It tracks your calories. It tracks everything. You really want this. I want that you and, should, the, okay, and the then calendar. Damn. I want to spend a grand on two products. Richie Rich. <laughs> Blank check, baby. Remember that movie? Yeah. That shit was good. Remember Dunstan checks in? No. Do you remember my, <laughs> da my date with the president's daughter? No. Oh my, my date with the president's daughter. Actually, oh, yeah. maybe. My date with her. The little pink dress. So good. The little pink dress was fucking iconic it was one of my favorite dresses on tv ever mm -hmm. oh the pink you don't remember this mm. it was the brother from boy meets world dating the president's daughter and the she brother ate. from boy meets world i used to have a crush on Meet who I didn't little. i yes. had a crush on sean i remember my first sexual dream cute. well not my first sexual dream but the first dream i ever had with a boy like first romantic dream i ever had it was me and sean walking through his trailer park holding hands and he kissed me he on the cheek he lived in a trailer park yeah in the show his he dad did? lived in a trailer park and in my dream we were walking through his dad's trailer park holding hands and he kissed me on the cheek and i woke up like it was a wet dream that's so crazy that's so funny yeah i was wet at the park did you watch the show the oc no that's oh, it i watched that i got so it was a big it. one though. in the soundtrack mm -hmm. sha 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 that was the what you say yeah 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 <laughs> dude the whole show was so good misha barton before she went off the deep end what happened to misha barton i don't know she just seems like she's been through a lot what happened to Misha? Oh, oh, rehab. And a psych ward. That's right. In solidarity, sister. <laughs> Did you see her in there? No. Wow. Misha Barton's career died with her character, Marissa. That's yeah. sad. What happened to her? Why? I mean, just drugs? Just classic drugs? Coke? I don't know. She was wild. She was that girl, though, in the early 2000s. She was that bitch, for real. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Michelle Trach Trachenberg lately from Harriet the Spy? What? That's no. scary. Pull up Michelle Trachtenberg. How do you say her name? Trachtenberg. 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 I was a big Michelle Trachtenberg because I loved Harriet the Spy and she would eat tomato sandwiches. Put, put, so put I would now eat, and go to images. I would eat tomato sandwiches because Harriet, Harriet the Spy, Spy ate tomato, tomato sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> Look, oh. that first one. Oh, whoa. She looks sick. I've never had plastic this, surgery. This is my face. This is my... That's me. <laughs> but that's also, me. Cool. That's me responding to YouTube comments. But also, like... <laughs> Can she get a lip balm? Yeah. I don't know what's happening with her eyes. She does not look well. Fun fact, this is my face. Not malnutrition. No, not malnutrition. No problems. Why do you have to hate? Get a calendar. Okay. That's weird. That's a weird thing to say. Get a calendar. Yeah, it's given. I don't know. You just, we just were talking about getting a calendar. I was. That's you weird. Think that's my sign. Please get the Michelle Trachtenberg is giving if, you a message right now. If Harriet the Spy tells you to get a calendar, you get the calendar. You got the calendar. Harriet the Spy told me to get the skylight frame, so I'm getting the skylight frame. Damn. Oh, well, yellow in your eyes. But other than that, you're a queen. Let me see the yellow in her eyes. Let's but, go back up. Oh, uh, how could you not? No, keep going. Well, they look, they look red there. More. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is your liver failing, girl? <laughs> okay, hey, that's girl, not the way to liver, ask that. Is your liver failing, girl? <laughs> hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. Your eyes a little yellow. Your liver failing or what? Girly pop. <laughs> is your liver fail fail? 
<laughs> girly girl. What's up with your liver? Your eyes look a little yellow, girly. I hope she's okay. <laughs> and we'll end there. I sincere, I sincere <laughs> and we'll end there. Thoughts and prayers to That's, Trachtenberg. Harriet the Spy, an icon, a legend. A Leave legend. her and her yellow eyes alone. Leave her alone. She's just fucking living. Get a calendar. Get a, <laughs> get a fucking calendar. Get a calendar. And that's our episode. Sarah, the, where can people find you? At Princess Shank. You can find me here every Monday on This Bitch and every Wednesday on Shank. And then my show dates are at Princess Shank. And what about you? Um, KimCongden.com, Patreon.com slash Kim Congdon, Childless Milf on YouTube, Magic Prank Show on Netflix. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Get, get a calendar. Get a calendar. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,